Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the role of a clinical neuropsychologist in child neuropsychology. So without further ado, let's get started. I've always spoken about elders in neuropsychology from Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, but I've never mentioned this specifically child neuropsychology and as a part of my master's and the practicum I was in a hospital as I've mentioned multiple times in the past and of course that also allowed me to be with little patients with children what do we do for this testing it was most of the times based on IQ test to grasp a bit of the whole knowledge of the kid to know where this kid's standing from and also to know where is this kid having more issues you see mathematics, is it writing, is it reading, is it comprehension, so we could have uh, overall knowledge of this specific case. What we also had a lot of cases were of reading and writing, dyslexia, and sometimes also learning disorders. Either if the kid was going a bit slower for his age or her age, or something that could have been genetically explained. The genetic cases normally we do know from the pediatrician so we know what to expect in the specific diseases if this is going to affect their cognition or not and the majority of the testings are longer than when we test grown-ups because we have to elaborate more and also we don't want to get the kids tired so we have to take breaks and basically pretty much all the time we have to ask the kid to come back another day to complete the testing the best part of testing child is that you can follow up pretty thoroughly in the first year. So they come for checkups yearly, if not sooner, and you're able to see their evolution. In this case, it's also super, super crucial that they have a specialist that allows them to reinforce this difficultness so they can expand their capacities and be able to catch up to their extent they can so they don't struggle so much in school. Because the kids in general, they are pretty pressured to follow the times and rhythms in class and the one kid that or the two kids or whatever kids that they cannot follow this specific timeline, they're gonna have a lot of struggle and it's also gonna bring them down because they feel they're not good enough in doing anything in class. Therefore, the role of a clinical neuropsychologist and being able to follow with this kid and see how the progress is going and redoing some testings in the part of the kids travel, if it's writing, reading, comprehension, that allow us to see if their learning line is going up or is basically the same or is even going down so we know how to react in these three different cases because there are not other choices, it's either going up, staying the same, stable or going down, which the down will be scary part. So we have to keep track of these kids and see how they are evolving so we can have a better knowledge of their cognitive learning adaptation. The good thing is that the sooner they come to us, the sooner we can start working on a plan with them. And once again, this has a lot to do with rehabilitation. In the rehabilitation process, they're going to be given tips to be able to learn in different ways, maybe as other kids, but the ones that are going to enable them to be able to catch up with the rest and be to pursue those goals. So it is really important for those kids that they are not able to follow class normally, see the kids in the class, to go to their parents and say, hey, I'm not following what is being said here, I struggle to follow the teacher, I struggle to do the exercises in class because that will enable the parents to come to us and then from us to personalize the rehabilitation process for them to be able to do their best in their own capacities. So that will sum up the role of a clinical neuropsychologist in child neuropsychology. So that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for the role of a clinical neuropsychologist, leave them down below and I will try to do a video about it. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!